killed by someone they know.
children of Etro have finally been eradicated. The hunter's up to something. We should observe his actions. Called the Hunter of Light. You need to return to the Ark at six every morning, without question. Remember that, Light. Making a triumphant return! <sighs> you again. What, do you hear me? I'm hearing your feelings. Buzz off, Hope. He does like to talk, that one. But jeepers, that was some showdown. Didn't go like I thought. How so? Okay, pop quiz! You get a special treat if you can tell me who showed Noel the Oracle Drive recording. I'm guessing you? Boy, I really underestimated the Shadow Hunter. I never expected he'd sabotage the prophecy himself. After you went to all that trouble to set it up, my heart bleeds for you. Hey, don't get me wrong. I didn't want it to go down any more than you. I'm happy it didn't. The world in that prophecy wasn't real. It was 
just a pretty fake. Like this god of yours, Benavelza, you know he's not omniscient. There are some things even he can't see. Things he can't see? Things like this? Oh, you're sharp as a knife, aren't you? When did you get to know so much about things? Still, I wonder if God knows his servant has our own agenda. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. On the very last day, the flower blooms. You survived another day. Once upon a time, Noel was one of the leaders. He helped us in the struggle against the chaos. When the Order took the reins of power, he went underground, but he didn't disappear. He worked from the shadows to help keep the peace. So Vanille seems well. I'm glad. I remember her, you know, from way back when. Light, do you understand your role now? You must lift the shackles that bind people's hearts and save their souls. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can harvest. That is crucial because it means buying the world more time. What can I get you?
In this world, all the clocks count to 12, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to 13. Somehow, when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. If the prophecy in the Oracle Drive is true, then maybe I should have died. That would be the best if it brings out the best possible future for everyone. I'm not so sure about that. The moment you die, you'll have failed in your mission as savior. And that, in turn, means you could not save Noel's soul. What would happen to him then? You're saying those images in the Oracle Drive weren't real? Those scenes where everyone looked so happy and safe? They were no more than just a pretty fake. They were just pictures. There's no way to see into the hearts of the people you saw in them. I still remember our first meeting. It didn't go well. Mother was with me. There was a battle going on. She joined Snow to protect me, and then she was killed. I saw it happen, and I blamed Snow. I remember I was angry and filled with rage. I vowed to kill him, but you saved me. You showed me a way out of my anger. Looking back on it now, it's like it happened to someone else. I remember being angry, but I have no idea how that felt. Perhaps it's been too long. Even if we cannot truly see them, I know that souls must exist in some form. How else can we explain what happened back on the wrecked ship between Saz and his son? God is not omniscient. He cannot see into the hearts of people. To him, emotions are a mystery. Only humans can truly know their secrets. Of course, there are many times when humans misread each other too, like me and my father. For the longest time, we didn't understand each other. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it. I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. It was Yule who told me. I knew there was something about that chocobo from the moment I first met him. Turns out Odin was reincarnated as the Angel of Valhalla just to help me again. Reincarnation? I wonder, can creatures with souls choose to be reborn? Can they choose when and where? Or is it all up to fate? Odin finding me was no coincidence. And I believe Sarah will be reborn and that we'll meet again when she is. Even if I can't see her now or talk to her, I know she wants to see me again. She has to. Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanille. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanille? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten he's holding my sister hostage? The promise of her return anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else. Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. 
Some people might. What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together, but in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them. It was Yule who told me. I knew there was something about that chocobo from the moment I first met him. Turns out Odin was reincarnated as the Angel of Valhalla just to help me again. Reincarnation? I wonder, can creatures with souls choose to be reborn? Can they choose when and where? Or is it all up to fate? Odin finding me was no coincidence, and I believe Sarah will be reborn and that we'll meet again when she is. Even if I can't see her now or talk to her, I know she wants to see me again. She has to. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together, but in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them. Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanille. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanille? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten? He's holding my sister hostage. The promise of her return, anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else... Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. Some people might? What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human, something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want. I met Lumina again. You mean, the girl who walks in the chaos? That would explain the chaos readings I picked up in the Ark. She brings the chaos with her. Light, there's something that bothers me about that girl. Perhaps you've noticed it as well. You mean how she looks just like Sarah at that age? So you think so too. They're so alike. I can't help thinking that it really is her, in some way. She may look like Sarah, but it's not her. Lumina's just too different. And she really rubs me the wrong way. Maybe she's not that bad, just that her behavior seems all the worse when she looks so much like your sister. In any case, for now, Lumina's real identity will remain a mystery. All we can say for sure is you and her don't get along. Are you doing okay? Destruction began 500 years ago, but you know that. It was when the chaos first flooded into our world. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean of chaos. Only one small region survived. The survivors call their island of refuge Nova Chrysalia. The chaos brought destruction and a kind of immortality too. Suddenly everyone stopped growing. It was like we'd lost our time, but if that was a gift, it was a poisoned one. We could not age and neither could new life be born. There were no more children, but although we were ageless, we were not immune to death. 
Sickness, accidents, and violence could still kill us. Life remained as fragile as it had always been. And so humanity began a new chapter of its history. The population slowly shrinking, the survivors falling into an ennui born of lives that last too long. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the Savior, a servant of God. She would descend to Nova Chrysalia at the end of the world, humanity's last chance for salvation. The Ark is the remains of the artificial cocoon, a planet built of steel back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Bunavelza has repurposed the world we built. This is where the souls of the saved are kept, ready to be reborn in the new world. But the people down on the surface have forgotten what this stands for and simply call it a moon. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnod. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the holy city. One more in the scorching sands of the dead dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the Wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. Who am I exactly? It's a question I don't have the answer to. I don't know how I know the things I'm telling you. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. Some memories are still there, and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. I know that I once lived in a great city on the surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and battle the menace of the chaos. And then, suddenly, I was here. I tried to find out what happened. According to records that still survived, the man called Hope Estime disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my memory end there. What happened after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I was part of his plan. So he took me and prepared me for the role that I had to play. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnod. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the holy city. One more in the scorching sands of the dead dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the Wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. For example, the chaos activity in and around Snow's palace is linked to him and the darkness in his heart. It's the same kind of chaos that I'm picking up in the other four locations. And you want me to find these five people? They're your priority, yes. Those people have massive burdens on them. The fate of many rest on their shoulders, and that makes your task all the harder. Helping them will not be easy, even for God's handpicked savior, but I can help you. There's a hard truth we must face. There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved, but you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more aradia, which is good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. You're saying I shouldn't waste time on helping the hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. 
The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game like you say, control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. In this world, all the clocks count to 12, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to 13. Somehow, when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. Welcome! Something happened? What is it?
I help you with anything? Good work, Light. Are you doing okay?
force anyone to worship God. The resident of the world. This world will end. That's our fate, and we can't avoid it.
opponent. just ran out.
opponent.
My victory was part of the act. I have to win. swords.
victory was part of the act. Leading dream.
dance.
show of it.
losing. What if the world doesn't actually end?
saw this coming. Dying. is coming. <laughs> Expect me to back down?
their most valuable treasure.
It's your most valuable treasure.
is over.
There's no way that I could live forever in this kind of desert. Not with these kind of people. Just so you know, the trains are running. Just for you. Appreciate it.
trains are running. Why did I think coming here was a good idea? What a fool I've been. Just for you. Appreciate it. Just for you.
just for you. Appreciate it. Just for you.
for you. 